let's calculate the area of the square we see on the screen. We can see that we are given the diagonal of the square, that is 3. So let's calculate the side length. For calculating the side length, as we can see, the square can be divided in two equal triangles and having a, a look at one of them we can see that as it is a square all of the all of the sides has the same size so these two sides are the same and we have the hypotenuse that is 3 so as it is a rectangle triangle we can apply the Pythagoras theorem that is side square plus side square equal the hypotenuse square from here we can see that the side square plus the side square it would be two times the side square equal three square that is nine the two goes divided into the other side so the side square would be nine divided by two so the side would be equal to the square root of 9 divided by 2. This would be the same as the root of the numerator divided by the root of the denominator. As the root of 9 is 3, we c we'll, we'll, we'll write the 3 divided by the square root of 2. So, rationalizing this fraction, as we have a fraction on the denominator, it would be 3 divided by the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 divided by the square root of 2. So, this would be 3 times the square root of 2 divided by the square root of 2 squared. That would be equal to 3 times the square root of 2 divided by 2. So, the side length is 2 times the square root I mean I'm sorry 3 times the square root of 2 divided by 2 so the area of the square given would be the side length square and that is 3 times the square root of 2 divided by 2 square so as everything would be squared that is 3 square times the square root of 2 square divided by 2 square this is equal to 9 times 2 divided by 2 squared, that is 2 times 2 or so we can simplify this this would be the same as 9 divided by 2 and this would be the area of the square given